Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I am Lady Nika, and with an episode of The World Outside Your Window, today's conversation will be that Herman Cain dies after a month long battle with 19. Okay. Herman Cain, the one time Republican president and candidate and prominent businessman, has died a month after he was hospitalized with 19. We knew when he was first hospitalized that this was going to be a rough fight. A post on his website said Thursday. He had trouble breathing and was taken to the hospital by ambulance. We all prayed that the initial meds they gave him would get his breathing back to normal, but clearly it became it it clearly uh became a battle for his life. The post also said that there were hopeful indicators. Uh, including a mere five days ago when doctors told us that they thought he would eventually recover, although it wouldn't be quick. However, he never quite seemed to get to the point where the doctors could advance him to the recovery phase. After an earlier post on Kane's website said it wasn't clear how or when the former chief of executive uh, chief executive of Godfather's Pizza contracted the virus. Kane was 74. Um, he had been pretty healthy in recent years, the post said. However, he was considered high risk for severe comp uh, 19 complications due to the history of colon and liver cancer in 2006. The author and media commentator had just started hosting a show on Newsmax TV and was ramping up media engagements in the lead up to the 2020 election. Kane had attended uh, Trump's indoor rally in Tulsa on June the 20th, at which crowds were smaller than expected, but face masks were not compulsory, meaning they were necessary. Um, Kane tested positive for coronavirus on June the 29th and was um, hospitalized on July the 2nd. At the time, a statement on his Twitter account said that he was resting comfortably in an Atlanta area hospital. Photos of Kane from the rally show him not wearing a mask. However, he was he was said in a video on his website that he'd worn one while in a large group. He said that everyone at the rally had their temperatures checked and hand sanitizer was distributed. He predicted that even though it was a crowded room of people, if they took precautions, they're probably uh, not going to be um, getting sick. <laughs> Child, that, that, just reading this is throwing me out. The Trump campaign disclosed a few hours before the rally that six staffers had tested positive during the routine screening. Two Secret Service officers were also tested positive. On a July 2nd post on Kane's website announcing his positive corona uh, test, written by Dan Calabrese, it said, I realized people will speculate about the Tulsa rally, but Herman did a lot of traveling that past week. I don't know if there's any way to trace this to the one specific contact that caused him to be infected. We'll never know. Kane is one of several Republicans to contract 19. On Wednesday, Representative Lou Gohmert, who had made a point of not wearing a face mask while in the Capitol, announced he tested positive. The same day, the co-founder of conservative student group Turning Point USA died from 19 complications. Kane rose to the corporate ladder in the 80s, serving as an executive at Burger King, the chairman and CEO of Godfather Pizza, and then working for the Federal Reserve Bank of Kansas City in, 19, in the 1990s. He worked for Bob Dole's 1996 presidential campaign before having his own uh, tilt at the top job in 2011. Kane impressive debate performances in his centerpiece 999 tax plan, a proposal to replace all taxes with a 9% income tax, federal sales tax, and corporate tax made him a legitimate 2012 contender. However, he suspended his campaign when allegations of sexual misconduct emerged. He remained a prominent Republican voice, one of few African-American public figures to support Trump, 
In turn, Trump said he intended to nominate Kane to one of two vacant seats on the Federal Reserve Board in the mid-2019. Um, mid but amid new, renewed scrutiny over the sexual uh, misconduct allegations, Kane withdrew when it looked like he didn't have enough votes to support his confirmation. Kane is survived by his wife, Gloria, children, Melanie and Vincent, and several grandchildren. Now, my commentary on that. What is it going to take? Now, I know that there has been some conversations uh, along the lines of people saying that things like, you know, um, we should, you know, I've heard all kinds of stuff, y'all. I have heard some of everything. Uh, people saying don't wear the mask because it could be, you know, breathing in your own oxygen, which is not good. But right now, what choice do we have? Right now, the only thing that has seen seemingly to be effective is the wearing of the mask, uh, practice social distancing, use hand sanitizers, wash your hands often. That's all we have to go on right now. And for many people I know, that has worked for them, okay? It is sad that this man has lost his life. But he made a conscious decision to go out not wearing a mask under the assumption that because temperatures were taken and hand sanitizers were given, that he would be safe. Clearly, that's not the answer. Clearly, somewhere along there, he contracted it. We're not going to say he contracted it at a rally, but it's highly possible that that is happening. That's the reason why the government keeps that thing. The, one, the government that cares, the people within the government structure that truly cares are warning people to take precautions. Practice your social distancing. Wear your mask. Utilize hand sanitizer. These people aren't just saying this because they want to repeat them, hear themselves repeated time and time again. There is no cure. Now I'm hearing talks about you know a vaccine possibly coming. You know, but right now it's still in the de uh, developmental stages, and we don't know if that's gonna work. This is something unknown to us. I feel as if, and I, oh God, this video ain't gonna get monetized. But um, I feel the government knows exactly what's going on. I, the, 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 you know, the CT in me says, or the truth teller in me says, it's something that they created. It got out of hand. Now you can come up with all kinds of, you know, hypotheses on what happened. That's fine. We all got a right to feel how we feel. But right now, what I know for certain, no one seems to know how to get rid of this. So since we are basically sitting here blind sheep, if there are some possible safety measures you could take, it would be more than wise to do so. I, I, I'm not understanding what people don't get. I noticed that people are starting to feel like they can, they can gather in large groups and not wear the mask. And oh, you got people complaining that it infringes upon them on their rights for the cities that have uh, mandated that you have to wear them, especially inside of businesses. I don't see how that's infringing on your right. I really don't. I feel like everybody have a right to to choose. Uh, what they need to do. And if I'm running a business and I know that there is a killer amongst us and the Center for Disease Control, Dr. Fauci and a couple of other people have said, based off of what they know right now, wearing a mask can be effective in uh, uh, stopping the spread of it, then I'm going to probably roll that way until another you know until a vaccine is created if the mask may not save you but i tell you this as a person with who would be considered high risk i wear a mask everywhere i go and i've been perfectly fine
Okay, I still practice social social distancing. It's a lot of people that seem to not understand that they it is not the time to have a barbecue with your homeboys and, and your neighbors around the corner. We're still got a killer amongst us and people do not want to listen. I know you're tired of sitting in your house. I know you want to go back to life as it once was. But here's the reality of the thing. We may never go back to life as it was before. Do I think things will get better? Yes, definitely in time it will. But how long are we going to continue to act as if we're not? Well, how long are we going to keep acting like we don't understand what's happening here? More and more people are losing their lives to this battle with this, this virus. And it's a lot of it don't have to be. I was appalled when I watched the beaches over in the great state of Florida opening back up and so many people just crowded out there. Like we didn't just go through a three month phase where people were dropping left and right. Hospitals were running out of ventilators. And I know someone told me in one of my comments that the ventilators, uh, based on their personal experience, ventilators did not help. Um, the ventilators actually uh, was harmful to their loved one, crushing their lungs. And that my condolences goes out to you for that situation if you happen to catch this video. But that situation is not true for everybody. We're using what we got to survive right now. It is a sad thing this man has lost his life after winning the battle with liver and whatever the other cancer I just said he had. He had to keep won the battle with cancer and seemingly was in good health over the last few years. But again, there's a silent killer among us. So you have to make the decision to make your next move your best move and protect you and yours the best way you know how. No, we do not need to be going out and about and having, you know, being in large crowds with people. I know the protesters are out there doing what it is that they do, and I respect that because it's time for change. But you people who know you high risk down, it's not that deep. I would rather you sit down and protect yourself now and be available to fight the great fight later because true, one thing for certain and two things for, search, uh, for sure. It is some very intelligent people placed on this earth. They're going to find a vaccine. Some kind of way a cure for this will eventually come. And if it don't, then that goes up under the umbrella of HIV and AIDS because you don't think this country don't have a, a cure for that. But if they cure it, then that means Big Pharma loses money. The government loses money. Come on, people. Let's just think. Anyway, that was all I had to say. That was it. That was all. Thank you all so much for listening. I really, really appreciate your support here today. And um, rest in peace to Mr. Herman Cain. My condolences out to his family, his friends, and his colleagues. Okay? In closing, as always, you do not have to be great to get started, but you must get started in order to be great. And the depth of your struggle will determine the height of your success. In the meantime, in between time, please remember to like the video. Ratings do get me recognized on the YT streets. Comment down below in the panel section. Let me know what you think about this entire situation. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to both of my channels. Links to the second channel is always in the description box below the title. You guys have a great remainder to your Thursday. I plan on doing the same. And we shall meet again soon. Peace.